What's up y'all? Welcome back! This is the first video that I'm filming since the launch of the blushes. It's literally launch day and everything sold out in under two hours. We're in pre-order right now. I'm not okay in the best way possible, but like I think I've held off on everything sinking in completely until this moment. It's amazing. And like the feedback that I'm getting on the formulas is already just so mind-blowingly lovely. Like once I started letting it in that like this was really happening, <laughs> like it's just really overwhelming. And I, everybody was like, how did you not cry at the end of that video? I'm like, because it's not real yet. I just couldn't, it wasn't, I'm not letting it be real yet. And it's real now. And I kind of feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my God. Ah! I'm so thankful to y'all. Okay, wow. So now that I've killed the indexing on this video by not talking about what the videos about in the first, you know, minute. Hello, hi. We're gonna be doing Strawberry Girl Summer Abroad today. <laughs> That's basically like a trying new makeup with a bunch of new stuff that I've gotten, including my new blushes. And I'm gonna be using the Aperitif shade, which is this beautiful bright red. That's like a coral red, it's not a pinky red. And I'm going to be creating my own version of the Strawberry Girl Summer vibe. I also have, yes, I caved in and got the Be Goldie drops. I wanted to try them from Drunk Elephant. I also picked up, hello, this like bronzy version of the face glaze from In Beauty Project. They're just a great company, I wanted to support them because they really don't put very many products out. I have new brow products in this gorgeous packaging from Make Beauty, glass, red, just, you know, the essence of what I expect from them anyway. I went into the city on Wednesday because Hindash is here for a vacation and he and I went to the Atelier de Beauté de Chanel or whatever, the Chanel Beauty Atelier and he and the sales associates all convinced me, it was not a difficult thing to convince me of, that I need needed the other Chanel, the newer Chanel sublimage, La Sans Détente. Because y'all know during the winter I am a sublimage La like freak. I, I'm just obsessed with it. We're gonna be using this today. I also, this is one that like, so I have someone who helped me with my shorts on YouTube because like my, I just don't have the brain space to be able to develop concepts and like find all the stuff. And he was like, these are some products that have like, you know, had this resurgence on TikTok. And one of them was the Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS and I've never tried it before. And Hindash was like shocked. We went to Blue Mercury and he was like shocked that I'd never tried it. And I was like, do I need it? He's like, he didn't even look up. He's like, yeah. So I bought that. <laughs> I think that that's it for new stuff here, but we're gonna be using some semi new things also and getting a whole vibe going basically. Oh, you know, I'm gonna be using Rudy's very freckled pen, obviously, because this is Strawberry Girl Summer. And I'll probably still pull out the Phytosurgeons bronzers because I like them so much. Can I just stop babbling and let's put some makeup on? Let's do it. <laughs> okay. So, I've already tried this makeup look once, and I started with the In Beauty Project, and then I was like, now I wanna start with the foundation, and this actually works better as kind of a bronzer. I guess it's like, it's become very popular with the debronzy drops on TikTok and everything, like every, you know, that's having its moment, and a bunch of brands are putting out their own version of the debronzy drops because it's having its moment on TikTok, and TikTok is just so influential. I am not. <laughs> unpopular opinion. I am not the person mixing my bronzing drops of whatever persuasion in with my foundation because I mean, my foundation matches my skin already. So I'm not gonna like make my face a different color than the rest of my body. I don't have a self tan on. That's why a lot of the girls are doing this because they have self tans on and they don't self tan their face and they, you know, or they exfoliate the heck out of their face. And so it's not gonna keep a self tan and that's why they're, you know, adjusting their foundation base to match their bodies. I don't have that issue. I don't have a tan, I don't have a fake tan, so. We're just gonna go in with the foundation. I am shade B10 in the Chanel. So I have found with this, because it does come with a brush. This is a really nice little brush, but like, I just don't think it's the best way to apply this foundation. It doesn't get it thin enough. I think that this is something that wears best when you use like so little, just so little. It, it's got a great amount of pigment to it. It's like a very sophisticated skin tint level almost. It's nowhere near as like kind of thick and emollient on the skin as the original Sublimage Luton, which is why I like the original Sublimage Luton is because in the winter, my skin needs that level of hydration. But in summer, especially now that I'm wearing all like the road products and everything, I don't need that heavy of hydration. Like this one might be kind of my new baby because like, yes, that's a radiant finish, but it's nowhere near as present. There's just not as much product on the skin as you get with the original. That was one pump. I'm gonna take one more pump for the other side. 
But yeah, if I put too much of this on on top of all the other dewy stuff, I also use the Isentree SPF with like eight different kinds of hyaluronic acid in it. That one has very much become my favorite favorite. It's just such a good sunscreen. It's such a good sunscreen, especially because I have been using so many actives and I got like a really serious peel that I have to be so incredibly careful, like more careful even than usual with my sunscreens. And I actually just watched this short form what do they call them? Real. I watched a reel over on Instagram of Charlotte Parler. Charlotte, I don't, she's Charlotte Parler, but that's not her last name really. It's like, that's like a shortened version of her last name. And AOC, they did a whole thing about the legislation around sunscreens in the US because we regulate them as if they are pharmaceuticals, like drugs, instead of cosmetics. And so there's so many more regulations put on them. And so we don't have as much innovation because it costs so much to get the studies done to introduce a new new SPF particle of any kind, a new like, what do they call it? Like a sun filter in a formula. Whereas it's just a lot easier to in other countries, especially Asian countries. <laughs> They have the most sophisticated SPFs and that's why I'm using the Isn't Tree one. It's because it's an, it's an Asian SPF and it's just so good. Plus in the US, I guess because that overhead is so high to get your stuff past all the regulations, like all of the sunscreens that you buy at Sephora that are US based sunscreens are all like $40 a bottle. And then you get the Isn't Tree one and it's like $17 a bottle. It's just the writing's on the wall, you know, like it's definitely my favorite, but it's also outrageously hydrating so I don't need to compensate as much with my actual foundation so that's the finish of that it's so utterly beautiful but yeah the first time I put it on I just put too much on I didn't know how much coverage it was supposed to have and so I did try and kind of build it and like this is really its ideal coverage level I would say it's you know covering me like 75% and it's just gorgeous and it gives kind of this beautiful like pearliness to the skin and I think if you didn't have this much skincare on it wouldn't be this dewy so I'm going to now go Go in with the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got this in vanilla. When I swatched it on my hand, it was the best match in terms of undertone. It's like incredibly neutral. That's great, but it's also a little tiny bit light for me, but that's okay. We're going into fall, winter, like, it's fine. I have a lot of concealers. It's a-okay. The beauty of this is you don't have to use very much of it. It's quite effective. Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS. An oldie, but a goodie. Also, this doe foot is just so so tiny, it really gives me nostalgia. I don't know, like I haven't used a concealer wand that's this like small in so long. I don't know why it's like giving me nostalgia. Like what product it's reminding me of because I don't think I've ever owned this product. Oh my gosh though, shopping with Hindash was so much fun. Because I mean, shopping with any other creator is so much fun and it's like hilarious how none of us ever gets tired of it. Like every time I go to DC, we just like, we're like, well, you know, let's go touch products. Like let's go smell things, let's go, you know, talk about what we like, like let's just go peruse. And we all end up kind of influencing each other and talking about how much we love or hate certain things or whatever. It's like every time I'm with Simbri, it's like we need to kill some time, like let's go into Sephora. Like if I'm with Amanda, we're just like, oh, let's go to Nordstrom, let's touch all the Chanel, or maybe that's a Neiman's, I can't remember. But like, it's the same thing with me and Hindash. We were just like, we went to, well, <laughs> we went to Glossier, we went to the Chanel Atelier and we went to Blue Mercury. We tried to go to Ulta, but like neither of us lives there. And so we didn't have any familiarity of like where Ulta was. And so I was just following a map and we ended up at the New York City Ulta headquarters, their offices, which are not an Ulta store. That was a pretty embarrassing little boo-boo that we made. But fortunately there's a Blue Mercury like nine minutes walk from there. So we just did that. But it was actually a really beautiful day. We had just done a lot, a lot, a lot of walking. I actually went to Balthazar for breakfast that morning with him. And when I got there and I was looking at my reservation cause they didn't know whether my, it was under my maiden name or my married name. I looked at the reservation list like this and mine was at 1030, but it saw, I saw who was there earlier and it was like 8 a.m. on a wind tour. And I was like, what? What? Not on a wind tour. <laughs> No, that was kind of neat. I don't know. Don't mean to blow up on a wind tour spot if that's like a regular spot for her. That might be like a standing reservation. I don't know. Okay, so let's talk about this face glaze bronze gel cream from In Beauty Project. I have used the face glaze before and I liked it enough. I just didn't make its way kind of, you know, fully into my routine. This is going to be, hello, something quite similar, I think, to the primer from Victoria Beckham. Where is it? And even if it's not that similar, <laughs> 
Y'all are gonna want me to swatch it against it anyway. And maybe the Jones Road. The gel bronzer in light from Jones Road does not have any actual shimmer particles in it. The other two do. This is the Victoria Beckham. You can see is much, much lighter. It's called golden. It's not really intended to be bronze. And then the In Beauty Project is greener. Like it's more of like an actual bronze gold, quote unquote, because it has green in it and it has shimmer in it as well. But they're all really hydrating and they're all gel formulas. They're beautiful, they're all beautiful. But the Victoria Beckham, I still think of as a primer. You know, I do mix it with my foundation. I'm not gonna put it on as a bronzer. Yeah, we need some color. <laughs> that really did a pretty good job of like blanking everything out, didn't it? Just gonna take that on my sponge, the In Beauty Project, and see what kind of nice golden bronze we can get from it. Very sheer, very pretty. Yeah, it's kind of a, a much more comparable formula to that Jones Road than it is. I guess, I mean, you can use it as a primer. It's just a lot darker than the Victoria Beckham if you were looking to use it as a, a primer. I'm not a huge, I mean, memory doesn't totally serve in terms of, you know, my memory of using the DeBronzy drops because I, there was, it was such a long time ago, but I do remember using them to try and base my face in a video one time. And I just remember them being actually like, they don't go very far and they sort of dry down too much for me. Like it's too much pigment. It looks a little bit wild if you don't mix it with something. I would much rather have something that can kind of stand alone. And I know that these Be Goldie drops do very much standalone because, well, they're not dark. <laughs> like they're almost translucent. But yeah, I think that there are a lot better products out there. And I kind of think that, you know, our iron sharpens iron or the rising tide raises all ships or whatever about when formulas get really popular, right? Because it makes other brands have to kind of like hustle to keep up, which good, good. <laughs> Let them do some work, you know? So that's just beautiful. And it suddenly like brings dimension back to my face. Isn't that nice? And the shimmer is just not, it's not bad. You know what I mean? Like I think that in Beauty Project bears in mind that a lot of its customers are not 20 years old, you know, nothing against a 20 year old, but I mean, not all of us can wear super shimmery things that, you know, have a lot of particles of glitter in them or whatever, because it's gonna accentuate texture that like, regardless of whether you're genetically predisposed to texture, it's gonna be about whether like you're aging, you know, so. Oh, my child is home. My kiddo has to take a nap in the next room. I'll see y'all in a couple hours. I don't feel like nothing to you. Okay, it's been like, I don't know, an hour or something. And my child is doing many things, but sleeping is not one of them. So he might join us at some point. <laughs> it got really bright in here though. I think we're ready to go ahead and do some blush. So yeah, like I said, we're gonna be using a pair of teeth, like first and foremost here. I think that we're going to probably end up filling in with other things. Let's make sure my microphone was turned on. Ugh. Because this is quite a high contrast shade against my skin. You'll see in a second, but that's why we have so many other blushes to be able to fill in with. If y'all missed the announcement, if y'all have been like, you know, on some kind of social media break or something and you didn't see my last video it goes in depth on my blush release and like I said it is already like sold out proper but like we are doing a pre-order so don't you worry don't you worry they are going to be available for a little while so that should give you some idea of how vivid of a shade this is but like I said in that video the aperitif shade it is a red that has enough yellow in it that it's not going to go what I call candy apple red, which means like for people who, who like me are prone to things turning pink on them, it's not gonna go hot pink. And I've been seeing the swatches on everyone's skin tones today that, you know, the people who got it in PR, I really, really tried to be conscious of a lot of skin tones and a lot of like different skin types and ages and the way that they, you know, do their makeup and stuff. And um, I've just been seeing it on all of these different undertones today. And it makes such a huge difference. Like it's just, it's, it may, it's really validating and resonant with me that the colors are working so well on so many people. So. Yes, that's contrasty, but that's the point of the Strawberry Girl Summer vibe. That's definitely like red cheeks <laughs> on me. It's not uh, backing away from that at all whatsoever. So I'm actually going to go in with Paloma, which is the lightest coral, and use that to just kind of, you know, fill in on me the difference between my skin tone. Do you see that? It's just kind of filling the undertone, the middle, the, the kind of hollowness of the, the difference between those two colors, like my skin and aperitif. Just like when you're dyeing your hair, you know, it can come out hollow if you have a very like light hair and you try and dye it a dark color, you're not filling in the middle portion of it. Like if you're not filling in the middle portion of it, it will look 
hollow. I always do it on my forehead. I know it's not everybody's gig, but it's my gig. I'm a little on the chin. So that's a that's a vibe. I'm going to hold off on the beiges because I will probably go in with latte in order to kind of balance this out. But I also want to see if I want to use the Phytosurgeon's bronzer. But first, let's go ahead and do my eyes. I'm going to keep it really simple on my eyes. I want to go for something that's warm and gold. I'm going to start in with Victoria Beckham Trench and then I'm going to go in with Surface from Make Beauty because it is quite a like warm brown almost red. I could have gone with like brick from the Laura Mercier matte caviar sticks, but this is what honestly was just nearby. So trench is almost my skin color. Like it's just super, super chill. And that's very much, you know, what I'm going for here. The cheeks are going to be the star, right? And so I just want to get a little bit of contour and then I'm going to go in with starlight from Victoria Beckham in the lid luster on my lids. But I just want to get a little bit of a mood going here. I don't know whether my child has left or not. I don't think he has. And I'm going to use a synthetic brush. This is an LH Cosmetics brush, I think. Yeah. To just blend that together. That works really well for this, actually. These do blend really easily, but you do have to be a little bit quick. Just a little bit. I hear you. You little gremlin. I hear you. No, I'm in here. Simon! <laughs> Trying to get anything done when there's a toddler in the house is just damn near impossible. Simon! Come here, you little bugger. I'm in here. I'm trying to work. Hey, trick bucket. <laughs> Oh my God, you little Whoa. nut. Oh my God, look at your boogers, blow your nose. Oh my word, that is absolutely foul. No, 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 there's more to it than that. I know there is. Blow, blow like you mean it. There you go. Oh, that's special. I see your hair. You see what? Yeah? Uh-huh, good talk, babe. All right, I guess we'll keep going. Don't get in any trouble. Don't touch my camera. Oh, you want a headband? Yeah, I want the orange one. Okay, I'll get you the orange one. Be nice to it though, okay? Are you ready? Are you with the blue one? Well, I'm not going to wear one right now because it doesn't match my outfit. You want to hold this brush? Yeah. Okay. Well, there goes the brush that I was using. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. He's wearing my Lily Sadugi headband. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Starlight here. I'm not sure what I want to use yet to kind of like add brightness back into my like brow bone because Is I do feel sure? like that was kind of a lot of the red. Like that darker shade from Make Beauty spread more than I expected it to. Oh, and oh, oh no, those are art, baby. Those stay on the wall. My friend Jordan made those. those. Are ice cream. Yes, they are ice cream. You want to touch them? You can touch them, but don't pull them down. They're really heavy. They'll knock you in the head. So this is starlight. It's like a true gold. So it's going to add a little bit of, I feel like, like necessary contrast so that my whole face doesn't end up looking completely red, you know, because I feel like there's strawberry girl summer and then there's like Chernobyl girl summer and I don't really Whoa. want Chernobyl girl summer. What are you doing? I want to go over here. Okay. Oh, not over there, baby. That's the paints. Uh-uh. Nope, 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 nope. None of that. None of that. Nope. Nope, nope, go around that way. I want to go that way. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> you're stuck. I'm stuck. You're stuck? I mean, you're not stuck. You just can't do everything that you I want to do. My blood. My, I want to do my napkin. You want a napkin? Yeah. Um, here's like a, what do you need? Just like a tissue like that? No. What did you do? I spilled that water. You spilled, oh! Oh, well, there's a towel right behind you, sweet pea. He knocked over a glass of water. I mean, this room is basically a booby trap. Ooh, I'm actually really loving the way that I that like looks. I like to see the paint on this. You want to see what? You like that one? Yeah. I like this paint on You want to hold that one? All right. This is a really fun game of what brush am I going to end up using after my child steals the one I'm holding? What's that? <laughs> What's what? I love you. I'm using a little bit of my Kosa powder. I want to go that way. Okay. No, you're not going over to the paints. Absolutely not, sir. I want to go. 
Yeah, you're gonna go underneath my desk. Don't knock my camera over. <laughs> Using a little bit of the Kosas powder, I'm going to put some of that under my eyes as well because I think that half the issue here is just textural. Yes, that's way better. So we do need to balance this out with some like actual bronziness. <laughs> He's literally under my desk right now. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna use the Phytosurgeons in one, the Golden Daybreak for that. And I'm gonna put that on that same brush from BK. This is the 106, but I'm cleaning it off because it has a lot of red stuff on it. What are you doing? Did you find a really big fluffy brush? Yeah. Yeah, I love that brush. Aww. What'd you find? Oh, he's finding so many like soft brushes to touch his face with. Yeah, you did find a spoon. That spoon has been through it in this room. I'm making lunch. You did what now? I'm making lunch. You make, oh, you're making lunch? That's great, sweetheart. What are we having? Having hot dogs. Oh, we're having hot dogs. That's great. Okay, so yeah, using spectral sunlight in golden daybreak. And really all I'm trying to do right now is make this like, you know, so that the focal point is red, but that the entire face is not red, you know? Cause it's like, this is gonna kind of add, uh, I don't know, an enhanced <laughs> version of my skin tone back in. Yeah, he's rubbing two brushes together. That's what and then we'll go in with some of that, like I said, the latte color. And I think that that's gonna help whoops, balance it out also. Kind of just like right in that spot where I typically put like, Beep, boop, boop, boop. The Victoria Beckham bronzer, the, the lighter I'm shade. I'm making lunch. You're making lunch? Yum. Yum, yum, yum. All right. So I think that we can, yeah, I think that we did something nice there. I'm gonna go in with this now. So these are the Be Goldie Bright Drops from Drunk Elephant. This is actually so much smaller than I thought that it was going to be, but it is an ounce. It's kind of like the Westman Atelier bottles where you're like, oh my God, it's microscopic, but it's like the same amount that's in like this, I think. Lord, it doesn't even tell you, but you know, I'm pretty sure that like most standard foundation bottles are an ounce, but like this just looks tiny. Hey, be nice to my brushes. <laughs> So it's actually beautiful. Like this is what it looks like. I feel like you could mix it in really beautifully with your foundation and get something pearly that isn't going to be outrageous. Like I'm actually a lot more impressed with, them than, impressed with it than I thought it was gonna be. In fact, I'm gonna grab the In Beauty, the original face glaze and put it against it. I don't know <laughs> where my original In Beauty face glaze is. It's not in my primer drawer, which is where it should be, so. <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm not sure like it makes a big enough difference as a highlighter. I mean, I guess it does. I'm gonna actually swatch it against my LeBlanc, the Rosy Drops from Chanel. That's the one that I mainly use for this. What am I looking at? That's a, yeah, that's my microphone for podcasting, sweetheart. Be nice to it, okay? So you can see they're really similar. They're just, you know, in different shades and the Chanel is gonna be thinner. Well, go ahead and sing, sweetheart. I wish you would. Okay. But yeah, actually, I like what the, the Be Goldie drops are doing right there. Beep boop. <laughs> Beep boop. So I wanna do a little bit more of that kind of right underneath my eyes. I actually love that because it's not shimmery. It's genuinely reflective. I've also got this absolute planet growing out of my eye right now. So yeah, this like kind of reminds me of the Milk Makeup Bionic Glow in the way that it I has a dry down, but it's like a glycerin I'll finish. Put on my ear. What do you want to put on your ear? I'm, my lighting is doing wild things. This video is hilarious. I'll just the brown one. Then touch that brown one, baby boy. <laughs> oh God, don't knock the mirror down. This room is a hazard. All right, I am going to do my, actually we'll do my brows right now with y'all here because we're using two new products. So I've got a clear and a cool brown in the new Make Beauty Infinite Hold Sculpting Brow Gel. So they had brow gels before. I'm just gonna wait for the light to come back. They had brow gels before, but I guess they weren't infinite hold. You know what I mean? Like these are really, really high hold. This is not it's not gonna work. There you go. You want me to put it on you? Yeah. Come here. What's that? A glass of water? A glass of water. Hey, uh-uh. Don't touch that. Don't touch that. That's a light. Electricity. Yeah. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. Cutie. All right. So the cool brown was my shade in the other one. And 
This one, it's interesting. It has a short side and a long side on the bristles and mine came bent and I thought that it was intentionally bent and then I opened the clear one and it wasn't bent and so I bent it straight because I was like, meh, it's probably just, you know, an accident. So on the, the brown one, I use the long ones because it's a lot of pigment. And then on the clear one, I'll use the short side because it gives me a lot more control. Whoa. <gasps> I want to see the You're gonna what now? I want to see Yeah? Isn't that beautiful? I want to No, 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 baby. I want to paint them myself. No, you don't need brow gel. This is dark brown brow gel, sweetheart. I found it. You did. You found an eyeshadow. Be nice to that. Remember, we marvel. What do we say? No. Not no, we say wow. wow. <laughs> I want to paint my finger. I know you want to put your finger in it, but we're not going to. So I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner here. I have the Make Beauty eyeliner in Nebula, and I'm just gonna do like a really soft, kind of blown out thing. I'm gonna put on a little mascara. He's right, the comb. It's right. And then we will come back, we'll do some freckles, and I'm going to put this red on my lips as well. So I'll see y'all in a minute. Got it. I got it. You did get it. Whoa. <laughs> You're silly. That's you. That's me? I am you with you. Yeah. I am you with are you on an elephant? Am I on an elephant? Yeah. No, I'm not on an elephant. Not today. Are you on the elephant? I'm not on the elephant. You're on the horse? Huh? The horse? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Am I on the horse? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't mess with that. That's really important to what I'm doing in my video right now. You're welcome. You're behind the sky for the sea. I want to see you. You want to sit with me? Yeah. Okay. There you go. I'm going to put my mascara on. Don't shove my arm out of the way. I was here first. Maui's hook. Maui's hook? What does he say? You beep boop beep boop. He says beep boop beep boop? I don't know. I think he says woo hoo. Boop 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 boop. Is she? <laughs> How are you shushing? Shushy. You. Okay. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Knocking stuff off? That's what's funny. Knock at me. Knock at me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, be nice. Ooh, can I have that? I need this. Can I trade you? Can I trade you this one for that one? Thank you. I just need the clear one. Okay, so we're putting clear brow gel on here. Like I said, I'm going to use the I short side. That one. Oh, okay. I'll give you this one back in just a second. But yeah, you can feel the hold on this. It kind of like feels crispy, like in a good way, you know, kind of like hairspray. It's just the chair. What is it? It's just the chair. The chair? No. Animals. Animals? Yeah. Okay. I really do enjoy our chats. Where are you going? Just be ship. I got the be ship. You got the what now? That's a box, a box. This one in that box. Do you see if it fits? Oh, yeah, go for it. You, you, he loves when things fit like, inside things. You like that one? Yeah, okay, thanks. Like, Alright, so, last steps here. This feels like one of those videos where someone else is operating my arms. You know, like those old YouTube videos that they used to do where you'd get oh, behind them and they'd be like putting that. their makeup on. Oh, piece of that. Oh, you can do it. Oh, I'm gonna put a pair of teeth on my lips. Oh, help. Oh, you want help? Yeah. Alright, here. Boop, there you go. I want to paste this and send this uh, It makes an absolutely beautiful lip color. Look at that. Ugh. It closed. Did you close it? Yeah, I closed that. Good job. And I've got a little bit of lip balm like left over. I think I have some of the Road Beauty lip balm on, but it like wore off, so. My lips are a little bit balmy, a little bit emollient, and it's sort of mixing with it. Otherwise, it would be a little bit more dry, but it is a really balmy blush formula to begin with. Be nice to my brushes. Hey, you don't do that to brushes. You don't do that to brushes. You gotta be nice to them. Thank you. I did want to put on a little bit of lip liner with this. I think I meant to do that. There it is. 
The LH Cosmetics in Edge actually works really well for this because it goes pretty red on me. So it's like the same one that I, calm down, calm down, dude, that's glass. It's the same one that I used for the latte makeup look. You're gonna get down? There you go. And see, it actually complements it really well. I'm gonna blend it in. I'll put it back. You can hand it to me and I'll put it back. Yeah, what'd you make? I make it a balloon. It's a balloon. You're right, it is the shape of a balloon. I just think that that makes all the difference in the world because I don't have a lot of ease, even if it's a nice Here kind of go. coral. You Thank you, Angel. A nice kind of coral red still, it's like red is not the easiest color for me to wear and I think kind of just bridging the gap with a like brown, brown red, red brown, you know, a warm brown lip liner can kind of make all the difference. Isn't that nice? So I do feel like we've lost a little tiny bit. What are you doing? You making music? Awesome. We lost a tiny bit of just like the local color, especially on the top of my nose, because I've used so many other things to kind of back myself out of trouble. But now that I see the whole look together, I feel like I can go in a little bit, a little bit heavier with that red. Look at that. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Whoa. Whoa. Don't touch it. I don't touch it. You don't touch it. Oh, okay, I won't. So the last step side. Don't put your finger on it. Don't put your finger on it? So the last step, Sai, is to put on some fake freckles. So we're gonna use Rudy's beautiful berry freckled pen. It's gonna be so much fun blurring him out of the background. I'm gonna do lunch. You're gonna do, you're gonna make more lunch? Yeah. What are we having this time? More hot dogs. More hot dogs? Yeah. I saw you had a hot dog today. Uh oh, I got mascara underneath my eye. Wow! Where are the hot dogs? Oh, uh, right there. Oh, okay. What do you like on your hot dog? Look at that. Yeah. He's stacked like 25 brushes up. And that's that, those are the hot dogs. She's, what's this? I found you. Huh? He's, you found me? The, the snowman. <laughs> it's a snowman. He found a makeup sponge that's kind of like it's two bubbles. It's a snowman. It's for sure a snowman. It's a snowman. It's not just the funniest age. Whoa, what's that? What's, what's what, sweet, sweet? Uh, what's that? I can't see it. Is it a deer? No, it's a balloon. A balloon? There's a balloon out there? Yeah, there's a balloon on the sky. Oh, in the sky. Wow. Uh, stars. And the stars? Yeah, there are stars on the ceiling. I want to get it. Oh, buddy, I can't even get it. It's too high. I don't get it. No, I didn't get it either. All right, and we'll take a little spoolie and just get that mascara off of there. The light is just absolutely bonkers, but oh my God, <laughs> look how beautiful that <laughs> is. <gasps> the natural light, even though it's inconsistent. Let's go ahead and just do my little beauty mark here too while we're at it. Yeah. <laughs> Yesterday, I took this, this is kind of like, I don't know whether it's a pimple or whether it's just like a colorless mole. Are you pika pika? Yeah, what is that? Oh, careful, that thing is good, that thing is shattered, baby. I like to open that. Yeah, it's kind of full of confetti. I'm not sure you want to do that. You know, it's one of the rare beauty highlighters. I really don't know if you want to do that, sweet pea. That's going to make a big mess. It's a big mess. It's a big mess. It's a big mess. But yeah, I turned it into a mole and it was, it was pretty cute. You want to sit up here with me again? No, um, you have to get up. Oh, you want me to get up because it's your channel now? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is me signing off with my Strawberry Girl makeup. I love y'all so much. This is Simon's channel now, so I'm going to let him sit down. You going to sit down? Yeah. Okay. I'll put a video up here that I think that y'all will enjoy, and um, I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching, and I will list all the details of the collab down below, including the discount code for the rest of the week. Oh God, you smell like poop. Did you poop? Oh my word. Come here. Oh, okay. Well, that's urgent. Gotta go, guys. <laughs> say bye, Simon. Can you say bye? No. Okay. Bye, Simon. <laughs> I love you. Bye, Simon. Bye, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's change your diaper.